this program, I am going to demonstrate the use of if else if else if else statement also called as the ladder if else if else if multiple times else statement. The way I am going to demonstrate this particular code is by trying to determine if an input character is uppercase, lowercase or a digit. So first thing what I am doing is I am declaring a variable called as ch of the type character that means it can accept only a single keyboard value it can accept number one or just the character a or character z or a semicolon or what not. Once I declare the character ch the next thing what I need to do is I need to ask the user to enter the character and read that particular character. So I am going to say here enter a character and I am going to scan f and read the character into a variable called as ch. Now using the if statement what I am going to do is I am going to check, check if the character lies between capital A to capital Z. So if it is between capital A to capital Z that means I am going to say this particular character happens to be upper case. Now I am not going to write the printf yet I am going to do a simple cut and paste everywhere so it makes my life a little easier. So I am going to say else if okay I am going to copy this. I am going to check if the character happens to be between small a and small z then I am going to print the message it's a lowercase letter. Then in the next else if what I am going to check is if the input character happens to be a digit. So what I am going to say is if it's between 0 to 9 then I am going to say it happens to be a digit. Lastly if it is neither a uppercase nor lowercase nor a digit then I am simply going to say print the message character is neither upper case lower case or a di digit. So this indicates that the character is neither a upper case lower case nor a digit. Now it's quite simple. I am going to take again this printf and try to copy it to make my life a little easy. So here what I am going to do here is here I am going to say character is upper case. Okay. So this is not required here. Character is upper case. Now what is the other possibility? The character is upper case. In this printf I am going to indicate the character is lower case. Okay. Because between small a to small z the character has to be a lowercase character. Then if it is between 0 to 9 then I am going to say the input character is a is a digit. Alright. So just hold on I am going to do the explanation because I am trying to be a little lazy here by trying to cut and paste so that I don't have to type a lot. This is what you should be doing also because you don't want to type things which are almost the same alright or similar. So let's first try to understand this particular piece of code and then we'll try to execute it. So in order to make it more clear I'll just give you a line between all these statements by indenting I'm able to clearly see the code and able to understand things. So first what I'm doing is I am first declaring a variable of the type character. Then I am asking the user to enter a character from the keyboard. I am reading that character into a memory location called as ch. If the character is between capital A to capital Z then I am going to say character is uppercase. Else assume if this condition is false then only I will come here or if I enter small a to small z it is going to say character is lowercase. Or if I don't enter this, suppose I enter 7, then 7 is going to be between 0 to 9. It's going to say character is a digit. Finally, if it is neither of these, then I'm going to say character is neither uppercase nor lowercase. The reason why it's called ladder else if is generally it is formatted like this. Okay. So here if you see the formatting, you will almost see a slant. Okay. You can see a slant angle like this here. So this looks like a ladder. That's why it's called as the ladder if, else if, else if, any number of else ifs and a else. Again, only the if is compulsory. Neither the else if nor the else is compulsory. Now let's go ahead and try to take a look at this particular piece of code. So first thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to compile this particular piece of code. Let's see what happens. So luckily there's no errors. So let's enter a character. Let me enter a special character like say flower bracket. 
okay so here if you see here now you can see that i have entered a flower bracket now flower bracket is neither uppercase nor lowercase nor a digit so it should print character is neither uppercase lowercase or a digit so here it prints character is neither uppercase lowercase instead of off it should be or a digit all right so here it correctly said that flower bracket is neither uppercase lowercase or a digit now let's try to run it with some different example let me enter small case h so if you see i have entered the small character h so the expected output is it should say character is lowercase so it's correctly doing character is lowercase so this way you should be testing your code then only you're sure it's working let me enter 8 so 8 is a character between 0 to 9 so when i enter 8 it will say character is a digit because 0 to 9 is a digit last let me enter an uppercase alphabet so the uppercase alphabet i'm entering is let's say m and once i enter m it's saying character is a upper case so we have basically checked this particular piece of code for all the possible inputs so this is how you should be verifying do not assume you just check one input and the program is correct because if you have made mistakes the only way to understand if you have made a mistake is trying to give different inputs to the code so this should help you understand if a given input code is uppercase lowercase or a digit or neither of them so I hope this program helps you understand the concept of a if else if else if else ladder else if demo because if you see this this is almost slanting like a ladder it's forming an angle to the wall assuming this is the wall it's forming a lean to the wall that's why it's called as a ladder if else if else if else and so on.